Hello everyone, today I have another comic haul. This is from uh, the past few shop visits and a local con I went to earlier today. So we're going to start off with the local shop visits. I haven't been to my local shop in like a week or so, so or two, I don't remember, but uh, I'm planning to go this weekend because uh, there's a lot of new books that I'm missing out on. But first, we'll start off with House of X number three. I'm still picking up House of X because I'm lazy and I didn't pick it up when it uh, first came out. All right, next we have the J.J. Abrams Spider-Man. This is number two. I'm glad I did decide to give this series a second chance. Because issue two is much better and much more enjoyable than issue one. I did not like issue one. I know a lot of people did. I didn't. But uh, I'm glad that I did pick up issue two because, as I said, I really enjoyed it. Next we have the Amazing Mary Jane number one. There's so many variants to this, but I couldn't find one in my shop. Um, this is a fun little read. I think it's like... I think it's gonna be like six issues or something like that. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be like ongoing. But uh, pot's fun. It's a fun little read, you know. It's cool. Do wish I could have found a variant though. I'm sure I can find some before they like skyrocket. Next, I found this in the dollar bin actually. Young Bloods number one. This is the first book ever published by Image. Also the first appearance of all the Young Bloods, which I couldn't tell you their names because. Well, to be honest, the only image character that I'm actually familiar with is Spawn, so... Yeah. There's also a back cover, which I thought was cool. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll read this and give it a try. Probably not, but... <laughs> uh, and next we have House of X number 4. Honestly, don't remember... Yeah, I did read this. Okay. Just had to make sure I read this before I bagged it up. Also, second printing because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to find a first printing House of X and Powers of X ever again. And then I picked up Spawn 17. This is the first full appearance of the Redeemer, I think. I don't think it's the cameo. I think it's first full. Five bucks. Cool. He's, I mean, like, I think he's a big Spawn character. I don't know. I honestly only know him because he was in, uh, Spawn 300 and 301. I think he was in 301, right? He was in 300, but like, that's the only way I know. Still learning Spawn. Next, we have two bags, or uh, two books I haven't bagged up because I haven't read them yet. Uh, Absolute Carnage Scream number two. I picked these up like weeks ago too. I need to read them, but it's like, I've kind of had a lack of interest. And then Absolute Carnage Scream number three. I don't know why I've had a lack of interest, but I, uh, I have. Let me put them back in this bag here so they don't get messed up. All right, next we have my um, Comic Con pickups. Comic Con, local Comic Con. Take the bag out. Uh, it was a local Comic Con. This is a Frederick Comic Con. Uh, most of the sellers I kind of knew by now because they were at a previous show I went to. Let me start from the bottom here because the top is my big key I picked up. I mean, it's big to me because I've never spent that money before. But uh, all right, first up we have New Mutants. 86. This is the first cameo appearance of Cable. Got this for two bucks, despite it saying ten. Um, two bucks for the first cameo appearance of Cable, I will take it. I, for some reason, always am subconsciously picking up New Mutants, X-Men, X-Factor. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, like, cheaper because the cameo is, like, so tiny and... It sucks, but I don't know. That's, that's what I heard, at least. I suppose I'll find out when I uh, 
read it. And these next few were all from this $2 bin. This guy had some really good stuff. Um, first up, X Factor number one. I've been needing this. He had a few early other X Factor fishies, which issues which I should have picked up, but I didn't. This one is not in the greatest of shape. He had another X Factor number one, but it was probably in like equal or maybe even worse shape. I don't know, honestly. Um, found something else that I didn't see before. <laughs> yeah, it's not in the best of shape. So I'd like to get an upgrade, but for now, it's there. <laughs> All right, and then next we have a bunch of the X-Men number one. I got all the cover variants. I'm pretty sure I did at least. I did see one with like this being gold and like a green background, but I looked it up and I, I didn't see it being with the variants here. I don't know. Oh, hold up. Okay, there we go. Camera wasn't focused, but I don't know. I'll have to look it up again. But yeah, here we got the, the Cyclops and Wolverine one. <clears throat> uh, we got the Magneto one. This one's kind of beat up. It does have, like, the covers. Looks like it's kind of... Like, right there, it looks like the covers kind of pushed up a bit. Like, whoever put it in the bag and the board, like... I don't know. But yeah, this one's a little beat up. There's also like a, a, a chunk. Let me see. Uh, you can you can kind of see it. There's like a chunk taken out right there, but <coughs> sorry, it's not really an uncommon book. So if I wanted an upgrade, it wouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, next we have the Storm Archangel Beast Jean Grey and Professor X variant. This one and the uh, the Wolverine one were in really good shape. And then... One more from that guy. Was the... Colossus, uh, Rogue, Psylocke, and Gambit one. This one is also in pretty good shape. Yeah. There was one more book that I wanted to get from him, but I didn't, and I don't know why. It was uh, X-Force number one, still in the poly bag. I have X-Force number one. Mine's not in the poly bag. I don't think it is, at least. But it was still in the poly bag with the trading cards, which I don't know why I didn't get it. But um, how many books was it? He only charged me 10 bucks for him. It should have been 12, I think, right? Oh, no, it was 10. I just, I just can't count. <laughs> <coughs> I was gonna say, did he give me a discount? Alright, next. Um, this is my first Thor book. Thor 412, first appearance of the New Warriors. And apparently this guy, I don't even know his name, honestly. It's rumored to appear in the MCU. I don't know. The dealer I got it from was a really, really cool guy. He was showing me a bunch of... Uh, different rumored MCU appearances. He showed me a bunch of different books like that. He gave me a d discount on this. Um, yeah. And he was talking about uh, Thor, what is it, 364, 365, maybe even 366, but uh, when uh, Thor turns into a frog, he said if you see any of those, pick them up because he's going to buy them all. He was saying something about like... Um, Frog Thor, what what is Thorg now? I, I think he said maybe he's getting his own comic series or something like that. I don't remember why he said that he was, uh, I guess the book was heating up or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. Next we have X Men number four from the 90s series, first appearance of Omega Red. I feel like 10 bucks was a really good price for the first Omega Red. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Honestly, you couldn't tell you with prices. And it's in really good shape. Like, I don't honestly see a thing wrong with it. There's a tiny, tiny, like, bend in, on the the bottom uh, right crease. But other than that, I mean, this thing looks like 9-8 condition. So, yeah. 
And my next... Okay, so... I only spent like... 40 bucks combined on that stack right there. And I had like a bunch of cash left to spend, alright? So... I wanted to pick up a big key. And I was kind of looking around, you know, I was, um... I did stop at one more booth before that, and I, I got kind of mad because... Well, on the... The bins, um, like, down from his, they said a dollar only. But then I got to this one bin with the Amazing Spider-Man, and some of them had prices and some didn't. So I wasn't sure if they were a dollar or not. Especially ones like... Okay, the wedding issue could have been a dollar, that was one of the ones. But then there was, like... First uh, cover appearance of Venom, which I doubt would be a dollar. And then there was also the um, the Venom cover where he's holding up the skull, the really cool cover, which definitely wouldn't have been a dollar. Because I saw that at the show earlier for like 40 or something like that. I don't remember exactly. So I was going to ask the guy, but he's just sitting there in a chair talking on the phone. And I was like, I got kind of pissed off and just left. But um, see, so yeah, I wanted to buy a big key and I was kind of looking around, you know. Uh, I was thinking about Amazing Spider-Man 252, but most of the dealers who had that were, like, talking to someone, and I didn't really want to sit around and wait. And I was thinking about New Mutants 98 versus Deadpool. Once again, the dealer who had that I was thinking about buying from was also busy. So I went back to the, the guy I bought the Thor from. I was like, you know, if I'm going to buy a big key, I'm going to buy it from him. He was a really cool guy. So, actually, this so this next one actually wasn't even... Uh, his, it was the other guy there with him, but he had two copies of this. This is kind of a spec book. I mean, I know he's going to be in this Black Widow movie, but uh, I don't know whether the price will stay or not. I bought Avengers 43, first appearance of Red Guardian. I'm hoping that that is on the cover. I mean, on the... the um, why can't I? The bag, yeah. All right, sorry. I'm hoping that's on the bag, cause uh, that's pretty ugly, right there. Uh, if it's not, I think it should come off. I think at least there is like a number and pen written there. I think it, if I can point, I'm not very good with mirrored images. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. This does because I would probably want to get this graded someday. That and just displaying it, it makes it look really ugly. But uh, yeah, uh, it's probably you know five, maybe I don't know. I'm not very good at creating like the more more uh, the, the books with more wear and stuff. It, I think it could be a five. I don't know. Um. He was originally asking 120, but he was like, make me an offer, and I was, so I pulled it out, and we were looking at it over, and I was going to offer him 100, he was like, I'll do 94, and I was like, okay, fine with me, um, so yeah, I got this, it's the most I've ever spent on a comic, which really isn't that much, but I've only been into collecting for a year, year and a half, yeah, a year and a half, I think. So yeah, this is like my first really big key. My first Silver Age key, at least. This is from 67, I think. It is the oldest comic I own now. Which really isn't even that old for a lot of people, but it is for me. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, this will keep its value because like, I don't know, $90 it just seems like a lot for the first Red Guardian. But uh, I don't know. So yeah, that was everything. Uh, the show was really cool. had a really good time. Uh, the next show, I believe, with all those vendors is like January, so I definitely will be going to that. Hopefully I will have some more money to bring because I want to pick up some bigger keys and stuff. I mean, a lot of really good deals there because I got all those X-Men books for $2 a piece, so I mean, re really good deals. Um... Yeah, I think that's everything. I uh, don't think I really have any stories to tell from the show. Oh, uh, I was, this year, My one of my goals was to uh, buy a graded book because I don't have any graded books in my collection. 
So I went to this one stand with the guy who had graded books, and he was like, anything 9, 6, or below was um, 30, and then 9, 8s were all 40. But, like, I didn't really see anything I wanted, because most of it was newer stuff, and it wasn't, like, any cool covers or anything. See, newer stuff, I really don't care about it being, like, purchasing graded like that. Unless it's, like, a sick cover. I don't know what it is. I just don't care. And then there was this one guy with a, uh, a booth who had, like, some older CGC books. But when I was coming back through to make, when I was like, okay, I'm going to buy something big, he had packed up. And I was like, oh, crap. And then there was another guy there that I for completely forgot about and just remembered leaving the show who also had, like, a lot of the graded books. Like, he was super higher end with his comics, like, tons of expensive keys and all that. I completely forgot about him, too. So, um, yeah, that's it, though. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope for me that this mark on the Avengers is on the bag. Looking at it now, I'm pretty sure it's not on the bag, so pray for me that it will come off. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed watching, and see you guys later.